hope you're right about your old lady, Deke. I've got to ask you something. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Hey, welcome to Attack the Stack. If you like that, try this. You know that, right? The Last of Us is an action-adventure survival horror video game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. Players control Joel, a smuggler tasked with escorting a teenage girl, Ellie, across a post-apocalyptic United States. The Last of Us is played from a third-person perspective. Players use firearms and improvised weapons and can use stealth to defend against hostile humans and cannibalistic creatures infected by a mutated strain of the Cordyceps fungus. The realistic relationship between Joel and Ellie became the central focus of the game. Upon release, it received critical acclaim with praise directed at its narrative, gameplay, visual and sound design, characterization, and depiction of female characters. It won year-end accolades, including multiple Game of the Year awards from several gaming publications and game award ceremonies, making it one of the most awarded games in history and is considered one of the greatest video games ever made. They're gonna catch up with us and they're going to kill us. Everything depends on reaching the coast. I told you I would do whatever it takes. The Road is a 2009 American post-apocalyptic film directed by John Hillcoat and written by Joe Penhall, based on the 2006 novel of the same name by Cormac McCarthy. The film stars Viggo Mortensen and Cody Smith McPhee as a father and his son in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. A man and his son struggle to survive after a global cataclysm has caused an extinction event. They scavenge for supplies and avoid roaming gangs as they travel on a road to the coast in the hope that it will be warmer. The film received generally positive reviews from critics. The performances of Mortensen and Smith McPhee garnered praise. It also received numerous nominations, including a BAFTA nomination for Best Cinematography. Wake him up a little! This whole thing is pretty much done. We're more ghosts than people. You have got to keep faith. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a Western-themed action-adventure game developed and published by Rockstar Games. The third entry in the Red Dead series, it is a prequel to the 2010 game Red Dead Redemption. Set in 1899 in a fictionalized version of the Western, Midwestern, and Southern United States, the story centers on outlaw Arthur Morgan, a member of the Vanderlyn Gang, dealing with the decline of the Wild West whilst attempting to survive against government forces, rival gangs, and other enemies. The story also follows fellow gang member John Marston, protagonist from the first Red Dead Redemption. The game is presented through both first and third person perspectives, and the player may freely roam in its interactive open world. Gameplay elements include shootouts, heists, hunting, horseback riding, interacting with any non-playable character, and maintaining the character's honor rating through moral choices and deeds. A bounty system, similar to the Wanted system from the Grand Theft Auto franchise, governs the response of law enforcement and bounty hunters to crimes committed by the player. Red Dead Redemption 2 broke several records and had the second biggest launch in the history of entertainment, generating $725 million in sales from its opening weekend and shipping over 24 million copies in retail. It was universally acclaimed by critics, who praised the story, characters, and open world in considerable level of detail. It received a number of perfect scores and awards, including the Critics' Choice Award at the 2018 Golden Joystick Awards, and honors such as Best Narrative and Best Score in Music at the Game Awards 2018. God didn't do this. We did. I Am Legend is a 2007 American post-apocalyptic film based on the novel of the same name, directed by Francis Lawrence and starring Will Smith, who plays U.S. Army virologist Robert Neville. The story is set in New York City after a virus, which was originally created to cure cancer, has wiped out most of mankind, leaving Neville as the last human in New York other than nocturnal mutants. Neville is immune to the virus, and he works to develop a cure while defending himself against the hostile mutants. It is the third feature film adaptation of Richard Matheson's 1954 novel, I Am Legend, following 1964's The Last Man on Earth and 1971's The Omega Man. The film was released on December 14, 2007 in the United States and Canada, and opened to the largest ever box office, not adjusted for inflation, 
for a non-Christmas film released in the U.S. in December. Out here, there are no heroes. No gods. No saviors. Mad Max is an action-adventure video game based on the Mad Max franchise. Developed by Avalanche Studios and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, Feral Interactive published the game's Mac OS and Linux versions. In the game, players control Max Rakotansky as he progresses through the wasteland building a vehicle, the Magnum Opus, to do battle with a gang of raiders led by Scabarus Scrotus and to reach the storied Plains of Silence, where he hopes to find peace. Mad Max emphasizes vehicular combat, in which players can use weapon and armor upgrades on their car to fight enemies. It is set in an open post-apocalyptic wasteland consisting of deserts, canyons, and caves. Although Mad Max is not based on the film series, it was inspired by its universe, and franchise creator George Miller was consulted during the game's pre-production. The game's environment, direction, vehicular combat, and graphics were praised. News. 28 Days Later is a 2002 British post-apocalyptic horror film directed by Danny Boyle, written by Alex Garland and starring Cillian Murphy, Naomi Harris, Christopher Eccleston, Megan Burns, and Brendan Gleeson. The plot depicts the breakdown of society following the accidental release of a highly contagious virus and focuses upon the struggle of four survivors to cope with the destruction of the life they once knew while evading those infected by the virus. Successful both commercially and critically, the film is credited with invigorating the zombie genre of horror film and introducing fast zombies. The film spawned a 2007 sequel, 28 Weeks Later, a graphic novel titled 28 Days Later, The Aftermath, which expands on the timeline of the outbreak, and a 2009 comic book series titled 28 Days Later. In 2017, a poll of 150 actors, directors, writers, producers, and critics for Time Out magazine ranked it the 97th best British film ever. Father, forgive us. We shed this blood in the name of mercy. Stay quiet. They don't know we're here. World War Z is a third-person shooter video game developed by Saber Interactive and published by Mad Dog Games. Loosely based on the 2006 book of the same name and set in the same universe as the 2013 film adaptation, the game is a cooperative third-person shooter in which four players fight against massive hordes of zombies in four locations, Moscow, New York, Jerusalem, and Tokyo. Players can choose from six classes including Gunslinger, Hellraiser, who specializes in using explosives, Fixer, Medic, Slasher, who uses a melee weapon, and Exterminator, who specializes in crowd control. New perks and weapons can be unlocked for each of the classes as the player progresses in the game. The game can support up to 1,000 enemies appearing on screen simultaneously, and they can climb onto each other to reach players on a higher level. Players can collect different items in the battlefield, but their locations are procedurally generated. In addition to fighting zombies, players also need to complete different objectives, such as escorting survivors in each location. The game features five competitive multiplayer modes. The player versus player versus zombie mode pits two teams of players against each other, while the zombie hordes attack both teams. Other modes include Swarm Deathmatch, Swarm Domination, and King of the Hill. I'm sorry about the theatrics. Police have been a pain lately. I haven't seen you for nearly 20 years. Need your help. Not for me. Children of Men is a 2006 British-American dystopian thriller film directed and co-written by Alfonso Cuaron. The screenplay, based on P.D. James' 1992 novel The Children of Men, was credited to five writers, with Clive Owen making uncredited contributions. The film takes place in 2027, when two decades of human infertility have left society on the brink of collapse. Illegal immigrants seek sanctuary in the United Kingdom where the last functioning government imposes oppressive immigration laws on refugees. Owen plays civil servant Theo Farron, who must help a refugee escape the chaos. Children of Men received critical acclaim and was recognized for its achievements in screenwriting, cinematography, art direction, and innovative single-shot action sequences. It was nominated for three Academy Awards, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Cinematography, and Best Film Editing. It was also nominated for three BAFTA Awards, winning Best Cinematography and Best Production Design, and for three Saturn Awards, winning Best Science Fiction Film. In 2016, it was voted 13th among 100 films considered the best of the 21st century by 117 film critics from around the world. 
I'll take you to them, I promise. Your brother left you to die. He's abandoned you out here to me. The Rover is a 2014 Australian dystopian drama film written and directed by David Michaud and based on a story by Michaud and Joel Edgerton. It is a contemporary western taking place in the Australian outback, 10 years after a global economic collapse. The film stars Guy Pearce and Robert Pattinson and features Scoot McNary, David Field, Anthony Hayes, Gillian Jones, and Susan Pryor. It premiered out of competition in the midnight screening section at the 2014 Cannes Film Festival on May 18, 2014. The film earned five nominations from the AACTA Awards, Best Direction, Best Lead Actor for Guy Pearce, Best Supporting Actor for Robert Pattinson, Best Production Design, and Best Original Music Score, and included two wins, Best Supporting Actress for Susan Pryor and Best Sound. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up button below. It really helps us out a lot. Of course, subscribe for more content like this and more. If you have anything to add to our list, feel free to comment below. Thanks for checking us out. Till next time, keep attacking.